Okay, let me explain first, okay? I stumbled across a video by Papa Meat. Love that guy, right? And he, on a second channel, he was going through a bunch of videos and such, talking about stuff that he finds on YouTube, just stories that he finds interesting, yada, all this stuff. He came across, or I came across one of the videos which stood out to me, don't ask why, and it's literally about a guy who's waxing his asshole uncensored on YouTube. Now, I feel like there's some interesting discussion points around this, right? So I feel like we could probably get into those as we move along, but I paused the video and I was just like, I'm saving this. So then I found the video and I haven't, like, I wa literally the first few seconds I've only seen. I wanted to make sure I'm fresh, like my asshole, or this guy's asshole, before we go into this video. So yeah, we're just gonna jump right into it and I'm gonna refrain from linking this guy's video in the description. Well, because I kind of just don't really want YouTube to. So, um, and plus, you know, he doesn't, he doesn't really need it. He's doing fine. But, um, yeah, let's just, let's see what happens. Removing butt hairs using nair cream, a visual guide. What do you mean by that? For reference, this is how hairy my butt is right now. He just jumps right into it. God damn. I only watched the first three seconds of the video and I was like, all right, let's just see what happens. The fourth second is when he displays his hairy asshole. Whoa. Uh, hmm. Dude, I respect your confidence. God damn. And his scroat, you can see his scroat. Oh, all right. See, my problem with this isn't that he's it's just some guy showing his ass. So I don't care. Nudity, that's fine. Like, there's way worse things that YouTube allows to fly on their platform. I've seen videos of cops getting gunned down, of people, like, getting hit by cars and shit. And YouTube is technically a little bit more allowing of those. Now, granted, at the time and place in which I saw... I just have his fucking a free, freeze frame of his ass, of him spreading his asshole right now while I'm talking. But anyways, um, that could have been at a time and place when YouTube was a little bit more lenient or they didn't have the rules fully defined. But it's like... <laughs> he's probably made some good money off this video, which is fine. That's totally fine. It's like... I got a fucking, I got a, a, a warning on my channel for one of my meme reaction videos where I, I had to like up, re-upload it like six different times with all sorts of various edits because YouTube just wouldn't tell me specifically what the problem was. I found that the issue was uh, one of the clips where these guys were like busting into their roommate's uh, room with like some firework, firecrackers, where they were like shooting fireworks at him and laughing. Like, <laughs> YouTube, I got a... <laughs> I got a, I got a content warning for that. Oh wait, no, no, no. No, that, I, that one got age restricted because apparently the reason for uh, that was um, they didn't want kids replicating that behavior or something. Anyways, the content warning I got or the warning for my channel I got was because of another meme reaction video of child endangerment where I guess, my guess is it was like one of the videos where like a mom was recording her kids and her friends swinging on a tree and then they fall off and then the tree falls down on them into like a lake, right? Or maybe some other video or so, they didn't tell me. I think maybe it could have also been a parkour one where some kid was just jumping from one rooftop to another rooftop and he hit, hits and then falls and then he like lays there for a little bit and then he just gets back up. I don't know, YouTube is just inconsistent. You can actually, if you are savvy enough, you can find literal porn on the goddamn website. And it's like, I don't have a problem with this. I have a problem that YouTube has a problem, not with this, but with other stuff. Yet they want to talk as if like, oh, we're here to protect the community. Sure. All right. This guy's got 50 million views on this video. All right. I'm going to move forward from this freeze frame of his asshole uh, being on full display. So let's see what... All right. So step one is to squeeze this cream onto your hand. So I'm going to be doing just that. All right, now it says to apply a thick, even layer to cover hair. Do not rub it in. So let's do that. Oh man, you can hear the sloshing too. Also rub it in, you, you're, or is that not the act of rubbing? You're filling your, your asshole with the cream and then you're rubbing it in, is that not, hmm. All right. What motivated this? I mean, his channel, 
like, let's see, let's see real quick what's going on in this guy's channel, which is called Kevin Leonardo. If you want to look it up for yourself, go right ahead. Okay, so this guy is more of like a sex positivity, like um, informative, medically educational videos. Putting condom on erect penis, a visual demonstration. I have masturbated every night since I was 10. Here's why and how. All right, educational. Saying the N-word. Gay Asians deserve a pass. This guy has 4.2 million monthly views. This guy's making some good money. Oh, educational, I guess. How to make penis smell better. Never rub your pee hole with this product. <laughs> you gotta get views, man. You can't, come on, he's, he's just playing the game. You can't just... Oh, man. All right, time to resume watching him rub cream into his asshole. Don't forget to cover the cheeks as well. Setting a timer for three minutes. Don't go past three minutes because I did that with my armpits. Like, I went to five minutes, and it literally burned and stung so bad. So stick to three. I'm going to go wash my hands now real fast. We have one minute left. So far, there's no stinging. Nothing's hurting. It's all good. Check small area. Thicker hair may require more time. So let's check a small area first. Taking like my damp paper towel. Yeah, let's check it. Let's see your ass. Paper towel that I got from the kitchen. So some hairs came off, but I feel like I need a little bit more time. Okay, I'm just gonna like swipe it because like it's been four to five minutes and like my armpits are still recovering from like this sting from yesterday. So I'm just gonna like avoid that and like just hope for the best. Oh my god, that was one swipe. Whoa! Alright, he's spreading it, I guess. I mean, you gotta get, like, you gotta see right in there to know if the product works. But that's, wow, I guess the product does work. You don't even have to sh shave your axle, you don't have to wax it, you can just rub some shit on it and it gets it. His, his anus, or the, like, the entry kind of looks like, like, like I'm looking at some sci-fi creature worm's mouth like some space worm and it's like opening up to like consume like a, uh, the cosmos or something. This is like, you, it's, it just has, the video is only age restricted. That's it. If you wanted to see what uh, this guy's asshole looks like, you don't, you don't even, uh, there's ways to bypass that. <sighs> Grant, okay. Yes, this is not bad. Okay. It's just nudity. People are very uh, like insecure about nudity, especially in the West where it's demonized and shit. Yet you could watch some guy getting his face blown off with a shotgun or something, or like at least semi-censored version of it, but at least like, this isn't suffering. <laughs> what we're seeing isn't really bad. We just consider it to be bad, yet like, it's kind of like how movies, the way they're rated. The MPA is so fucking stupid, right? You have one fuck, it's PG-13, you have two fucks, then it's, then it's R. You can have people getting massacred in droves, but if you show like blood as a result, or too much blood, it's R. You can have sex, R rating, or sex, PG-13, nudity with sex, R, if it's gay sex, it's NC-17, which prevents you from putting your movies into the, th the theaters. It's literally just time and place and the shit that people find important wherever, whenever. That's it. Oh. All right. <laughs> All right, we get the point. <laughs> I'm not sure the extra minute really, uh... Um, okay, let's see the comments. See what people have to say. People who came here from the Sambuca video. 2,000 people. I don't know what that is. I came here from Papa Meat. Oh! Oh! Oh, Kevin! No! Which, go subscribe to him. Sambuca, Sambuca. This, this level of confidence is astronomical. Dude, agreed 100%. My God. He, he, show, he spread his anus right at the camera within the first, like, four seconds. That's pretty crazy. So many emotions right now. I'm shocked, horrified, laughing, and respecting this man's confidence. The world would have been a better place if governments were as honest and straight to the point as this man. Yeah, dude agreed, god damn. I was not expecting a full visual. What do you mean? The video is called a visual guide. Okay, fair enough. On YouTube you'd think that this wouldn't fly, but here it is, 50 million views. This guy's making good money, I'm, I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad this guy's making good money, fuck yeah. Dude, slay king. Dude, wipe those hairs off your asshole right now. The rarest no click bait and straight to the point tutorial ever. I'll be paying for everyone's therapy session for the next year. All right. YouTube, be a little bit more consistent, please. <laughs> You're welcome.